What is up guys, Believer here from Believer Gaming, and today we're going to be playing some more Clash Royale. So, don't forget to share this video with your friends, tell them to check me out, that would be very much appreciated. And don't forget to check out me and Poke's separate channels. So, yeah, so if you didn't know, if you don't know how our channel works, I will be on Believer, I, we have different intros, so I will say Believer from Believer Gaming. And Poke will say Poke from Believer Gaming, or Poke, whichever one he likes. But we say either one, and we basically record on the same accounts. Alright, so he is going to do this. Oh, that's messed up, man. It's gonna get easy kills on my tower like that. Alright, so we are going to counter this prince. Try not to let it get too many hits on there. We're going to destroy his tower. And he's gonna try to attack us. So what we're gonna do is we're lay down a Valkyrie. And his giant is not going to die before it takes our tower down. This guy does have a really good deck. His minions are getting annoying though. They do all his breading. Alright, so we are going to push with a prince. Oh my gosh! This guy's countering everything. Okay, so we're going to use a musketeer, guys. Let's see if it can get the Valkyrie. Oh my gosh! What is wrong with this guy? Can he just leave me alone for two seconds? Alright, let's lay down a bomber. Try to counter both of those. And then lay down the archers. Alright, so we only have 60 seconds left, so I'm going to go with the prince on the left tower. And we're going to use some arrows on the minions. He keeps countering my prince with a prince. I'm going to lay down a giant towards the middle. I'm going to use a knight on the prince. And we're going to put a bomber down to throw one bomb at him. And my tower decides to shoot the musketeer instead of, I mean the Valkyrie instead of shooting the prince. I'm going to use a Valkyrie. We need some arrows here, and he is going to finish this off. Yeah. All right, let's get into the next match. This is taking a little bit to find. All right. So we're playing against Archer this time. Not a very unique name, but it's an okay name. All right. So we're going to lay down a Valkyrie there and a giant, and we're also going to lay down a Musketeer. All right. So he used all his elixir over here. We can just lay down a Prince on the opposite side. And that should get him. We use some arrows on most of his things. Let's kill almost all of them. And we're just gonna lay down a bomber here. All right, so he is pushing pretty hard. And yeah, he's gonna finish this. Alright, so our deck isn't really working that much anymore, so we're just going to try to make some edits. Alright, I think that's fine. Let's try playing with this deck.
All right, so we're gonna lay down a prince on the right tower, along with some goblins, to counter his goblin barrel that he used to kill my prince. And then along with that, we're gonna lay down some spear goblins to try to get a little bit of damage. All right, and then we're gonna lay down archers there, along with a knight. He is going to start attacking our tower, so it's not very useful defense. Alright, so we're going to lay down a musketeer on that side. And we're going to go ahead and use arrows there. And we're going to use some spear goblins. He did get our tower, but that doesn't really matter because we also got his... And we have more damage on the other tower. So, alright, Bomber is going to counter that. And we're both just charging up our elixir. Alright, so we are going to put a Prince on the left tower, try to get that. He's going to counter my Prince with a Prince of his own. And we're going to try to push, but the arrows are going to kill the Prince before he even makes it. We're going to lay down a musketeer. And my deck should absolutely destroy a double elixir. Alright, we're going to use archers and a knight. We're going to use arrows on his goblin barrel. Alright, so he's going to start pushing us. He does start attacking our tower. We're going to push him off the tower and attack him. We need a musketeer on those minions because they're destroying my push. All right, and we do finish that off. We're going to lay down a prince on the other side along with some spear goblins. And this is going to absolutely destroy his tower. Good game. First game with the new deck is working out pretty well. And yeah, okay, let's spin three gems on opening this. And okay, so we got spear goblins. We didn't get anything like, oh my gosh, that's so amazing. All right, so let's try to get 600 trophies back. This guy's name is Jesus. Alright, so we're going to push that, just like that. Alright, so we already took out his defense. We're going to lay down a prince to go for the tower. Along with some spear goblins to back us up. And he is going to use the skeleton army, so we're going to use some arrows. There we go. So right now it's kind of balanced. But he lays down a prince to unbalance it. And we're going to use some regular goblins. Alright, he is going to use those minions. And those are going to give quite a bit of damage. Alright, so he did get our tower in the end. This is why I really need a skeleton army really bad. Alright, so we're going to lay down a prince behind the archers. And then, boom, we're going to get that. So he is, as long as we lay down a prince or anything without a splash damage, he is just going to continue to kill them. Alright, so that should take out his prince before it gives enough damage to our tower. This guy is getting a perfect game on us. I'm gonna charge up our elixir. There's some arrows there just in case he uses a skeleton army. 
Alright, so he used a skeleton army after. So that really didn't help with anything. Alright, so we are countering his prince. Prince got no damage on my tower. So, we might be able to make this out. Gonna lay down a musketeer. Goblins like we did last time. Yes, we got the tower. And we are going, guys. I'm gonna lay down a prince over there to try to go attack his tower. He's gonna use a fireball on me. And he's going to throw down a skeleton army. We're gonna destroy a skeleton army. And we're going to use goblins, a bomber, and a musketeer. We're gonna use more goblins. Lay down some arrows to make sure they don't destroy my tower. Try to destroy his goblin hut with goblins and a bomber. And we're going to lay down a prince on that side, along with some goblins. A skeleton army to destroy, I mean, uh, arrows to destroy that skeleton army. We're going to lay down spear goblins, along with the bomber. He is going to finish off our towers and steer goblins. I was going for the draw, but he got us in the end. So yeah, that guy has like the best of the best cards. Alright, Bone Pit, Rinsu. Let's go, boys. Alright, we're going to use a bomber, then a prince, along with some spear goblins. He tries to counter it, but it's not enough. And we finish that off. Okay, we don't finish it off. And he does lay down a mini P.E.K.K.A. with a giant. We're going to use a knight and a musketeer to counter that. And we're going to use some goblins on the archers. He uses a bomber. But our musketeer is going to counter we're going to use some arrows on his tower to get the last damage. And there we go. So we're going to send him a crying face emoji. Alright. This guy will not stop emoting. We're going to lay down some spear goblins and a prince. Princes are so deadly to you when you don't have a skeleton army. They get way more deadly. I don't have a Valkyrie, unfortunately. Let's counter that. I need some arrows. Alright, so he is going to engage everything he has. My tower. And we're throwing a bomber. He's going to finish us. Alright, so let's go again. Bone Pit. We've lost more trophies than we gained right now. Alright, so let's just see if he's going to lay down a skeleton army. Okay, so he most likely doesn't have a skeleton army or he just doesn't have it in his inventory. So we do get enough damage on that tower to where I can easily destroy it very quickly. So we're going to use a few things to get that and lay down some arrows on the tower. And we're going to lay down some archers at that tower. Maybe they could get on a hit or two before the bomber kills them. We're going to lay some spear goblins down. Alright, so we are going to get the finish on that tower. Then we're going to lay down a 
Prince to try and finish it off if he doesn't really care. Alright, so he is going to use a whole bunch of stuff to distract my Prince. But I'm going to use some stuff to keep my Prince alive. So we're going to use a bomber to counter all these stupid spear goblins he's using. And we're going to lay down some spear goblins of our own. Alright, so his goblin hut is dead. He's probably going to find a way to get another one. Alright, we're going to finish him off. And we're going to wait. Try to get as much elixir as possible and push with this musketeer. So he is going to lay down another goblin hut. We're going to push with some goblins, a musketeer. Alright, we're going to lay some spear goblins behind. Since we lost our musketeer. Alright, so we are going to lay down another prince to go with that. Lay down some more goblins to counter. And he's barely giving us any damage right now. So we are going to get that damage on his tower. And he can't distract my prince anymore. And good game. Finally, guys. Finally. We are losing a lot of trophies right now. And we're also gaining. So let's just see if this deck is actually working. It mainly only works against people who have skeleton army. Who don't have skeleton armies, but... Let's try it again. We're gonna use a bomber. And some spear goblins to counter that tower. And we're gonna lay down a um, prince over there. And get that Valkyrie. He's not paying attention to the prince. It is gonna finish off his tower unless he does something. I'm gonna lay down a musketeer to counter both the prince and okay. So I am gonna lay down some goblins, and the prince is gonna get distracted by him. So that is good. And we're gonna try to finish off the prince. Yes! And he helped us out by giving damage on our king tower. Alright, so now we're going to lay a prince on his king tower and see how he defends. He laid down a mini P.E.K.K.A. instead of defending, so it might finish off his tower. Unless he does something fast. We're going to lay down some archers and finish off his tower. Good game. So this is pretty much the ultimate rushing deck for if people don't have skeleton armies. It is a really good deck to use, depending on who you're playing against and how high trophies you are. I mean, and what things you have. I didn't get spear goblins for a little while. So. You might not have all the cards in this deck. Alright. So we're going to push with, like, everything small, and hopefully he doesn't use arrows to counter. We're going to use arrows on his push. And it's gonna completely destroy it. This whole entire push is gone, and our push was successful. All right, so he's just gonna keep laying down stuff and trying to push, and it is not working at all. Just gonna lay down a prince on that left tower and finish it off, since he's using so much elixir on these small things. And then we're going to lay down a bomber on that side. We need to use our arrows on his pushes. Ooh. I'm going to use a knight and try to counter his push with arrows. But it is going to be successful in the end. He's going to use another tombstone. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to lay down some archers. He won't quit it! He's pushing my tower like crazy! Alright, so we're gonna finish that off, and then we're gonna lay down a bomber so he doesn't rush our king tower like he did our small one. Alright, 
All right, so he's gonna lay down another goblin height and use almost all his elixir. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep letting this bomber do all the work. And he does have a skeleton army. Now is where he's really fatal against me. So if I don't do something, I'm going to get wrecked. So right now it's like, get wrecked, or kill or get wrecked. That's pretty much what's happening right now. All right, so we're gonna rush. We don't really need to counter that skeleton army, but I'm going to anyways. He's gonna keep rushing us, ignoring the fact that we just laid down a whole bunch of stuff at his tower. And all the stuff, not even the prince, just completely pushed and destroyed his tower. So this deck is working out very good now, guys. But I think that's gonna be it for this video. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and join my clan. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. And if you join my clan, you can come hang out with me, my sister, and Poke. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.